got three ID lights. I got two clearance lights, lenses. They are properly mounted and secured. I don't see any cracks, no damages. They're amber in color. They look in very good condition. Moving down to the windshield. The windshield looks in good condition. It's not cracked, it's not damaged. I don't see any illegal stickers on them. The seal around the, the windshield seems to be in good condition. I don't see any damage with the seal, no cracks. The wipers, the windshield wipers, seems to be in good condition. Uh, I will check them from inside when I do the inside cap. But from the outside, the windshield wipers look properly mounted and secure. And they seem to have good tension. Now I'm just going to move down to my headlights. My headlights, both of them, both of my headlights are clear. They're properly mounted and secure, or they're securely mounted. I don't see any cracks. I don't see any damages. And they got good clarity. I also have my left directional. On my right direction and my left directional, depending on which way you're looking at it, at the tractor. They are properly mounted and secure. They got good clarity. I don't see any cracks. I don't see any damages. Now these particular ones have a reflector. So you got reflectors on both sides. The reflectors are no cracks, are no damage. They're amber in color and they're securely mounted. And I'm also looking for underneath to make sure that there is no major fluid leaks. And I see none. Now I'm going to proceed to do the engine. So I'm going to go ahead and unlatch one side of the tractor and I'm going to go ahead and unlatch the other side. So we can do an engine pre-trip. Now to open the hood, I want to use the safe word methods. Safe word met methods state that I look the same way the tractor is facing. And I'm going to lift with my arms and my legs. Alright, once I get to the engine, I'm going to call everything that is on this side that it won't be on the other side. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Z scan of the engine. I'm looking and listening for any leaks. I hear none. I see none. I'm looking for all my hoses. All my hoses are in good condition. No abrasion bodies are cut. I don't see any damage with the hoses. And I will do the same thing on the other side. Now I have my, um, my coolant is at the proper level. I can see it through the window. I see no leaks through the coolant. On this one, I have my alternator. I'm sorry, my alternator is, shoot, what is this one here? My oh, alternator is right here. My alternator is properly mounted and secured. I can see that all the nuts and bolts are in place. I don't see any damage with the alternator. My alternator is belt driven and I can touch the belts to make sure that I have no more than a quarter inch excess play on the belt. The belt itself has no cracks, no damages, and the belt seems to be in very good condition. Uh, air compressor. So my air compressor is properly mounted and secure. I hear no leaks. I hear no leaks from the air compressor. The air compressor is also belt driven. The belt has no more than a quarter inch excess play. The belt, it's in good condition. No cracks, no damages. And the, and the uh, Air compressor. Air compressor is properly mounted and secure. I see that all the bolts are in place. Okay. All right. There's nothing else on this side that I can call, so I'm going to go over to the other side. On the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do a Z scan of the engine to listen and see for any leaks. I see none. I hear none. I got my power steering fluid. My power steering fluid, I can see that it's at the proper level. And 
and my, my power steering fluid has no leaks. My power steering has hoses that go connected to my, my uh, power steering pump. Okay, my power steering pump, so I can see that all the hoses have no leaks. The hoses are in good condition, no cracks, no damages. My power steering pump is gear driven. I see that there's no leaks. It's properly mounted and secure. All the hoses coming out of my power steering pump, like I say, they're in good condition, no cracks, no damages. I see no leaks over here. Now I also have my engine oil. So what I do is, I will pull out the stick. What I do at first, I'm gonna wipe it off. Then I'm gonna reinsert it. Then I'm gonna pull it back out to make sure it is at the proper level. And it is between the add and the full. So it's at the proper level. If I needed to add more oil, I make sure that I add four quarts at a time. Moving along now, I got my uh, water pump. My water pump is over here. My water pump is, is also bell driven. I'm looking to make sure that the tension on the belt is that I got no more than a quarter inch excess play. The belt is in good condition. I don't see any cracks, any damages on the belt. And the water pump, I, can, I can't see that there's any leaks. There's no leaks. All right, now I got my, uh, my steering shaft. My steering shaft is properly mounted and secure. The universal joints have properly, uh, they're properly lubricated. I don't see any bents, any damage on my steering shaft. That one is now hooked up to my steering box or gear box. It's properly mounted and secure. All the bolts are in place. It is in good condition. Now that my gear box is hooked up to my Piedmont arm. My Piedmont arm is no bent, it's no damage. It is in good condition, properly mounted and secure. It's got the castle nut with the cutter pin in place. It's attached to my drag link which is all the way all the way over here that's my drag link my drag link is also in good condition it's not bent it's not damaged my drag link is also connected properly to the axle with the with the nut over here the castle nut and the and the cutter pin in place now i have my uh i'm going to go with my spring hangers my spring hangers are where the with the uh, springs are hanging on also, they're on both sides, so the left and the right, all the way to the back over here. Of course, you guys can't really see it on the back because you got this. But the spring hangers are in good condition. There are no crack, there are no damage. Uh, now I'm gonna talk about my springs. These are my springs. My springs are in good condition. I don't see there's there any, there's no missing leaves. The springs are no cracked, are no damage, they're not loosened. Now I got my U-bolts and bolts. See, they got a, a, a look like a U, that's what they call the U-bolt. So you got two of them. Both of my U-bolts and bolts, the bolts are at the bottom of the U-bolts. The U-bolts and bolts are in good condition. No cracks, no damages. They got all the, uh, all the nuts in place. Now I'm gonna talk about my shock. Got my shock right here. My shock is properly mounted and secure. I don't see any leaks. I don't see any damage. The shock, it looks in good condition. I'm gonna move along and I'm gonna talk about now my brake lines or, 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 or brake hoses. My air lines, brake lines are in good condition. There are no abrasion budgets or cuts. No cracks on the hoses. I hear no leaks. There's no leaks. Now my brake hoses are attached to my brake chamber. This is my brake chamber right here. Now my brake chamber has, has the proper clamps, have all the clamps in place. It's properly mounted and secure. 
it is in good condition I don't see any damage and my brake chamber has no leaks now also uh, on the hoses I'm looking to make sure that there's no shining spots which will indicate any uh, rubbing okay now I'm gonna go down here to my push rod and my um, um, slack the slack adjuster thank you my slack adjuster and my push rod they're right here they're uh, properly attached properly mounted and secure now my brake uh, my push rod when I release the brakes I don't want to have more than an inch excess play when the brakes are released now I'm from my, my slack adjuster I'm moving down to my brake linings brake linings or brake path as we know they are inside over here so my brake linings have a minimum of a quarter inch no cracks or contaminants now we got the brake drum the brake drum is where the pads are so where the pads are attached to the brake drum it's in good condition no cracks no damages it's properly mounted and secure now I'm gonna go ahead and move up to my um, to my rim my rim is properly uh, securely to the, it's properly beaded to the tire the rim is doesn't have any illegal welts it is in good condition the inside of the tire have no abrasion budgets or cuts all sides of the tires they have no abrasion budgets or cuts there's no fabric or cord exposure on the tire they have a minimum of a 430 second tread depth this is a virgin tire uh, it has to be a virgin tire so if I had to check the pressure I'll do I make sure that I use a tire pressure gauge the tire is properly beaded to the rim on the outside the rim has no illegal welts has no cracks there's no damages my lug nuts all of my lug nuts are present there's nothing missing my lug nuts are tight they seem to be in good condition no cracks or damages any rust will be indication of looseness my metal by stem metal cap is present and my hob oil I check to make sure that it's at the proper level I will open it and check to make sure that it is at the proper level okay all right now what we're gonna do is um, here we're gonna close the hood and we're gonna start doing the tractor if this had if this tractor had a uh, some of them will have a, a, a latch over here on this end this one don't have a latch but if you had a latch you want to make sure that it's on the unlock position before you close the hood the other tractors will have that latch so you got to be careful because if you force the hood you will break it okay this one doesn't have a latch so we can what we can do is we just can close it go ahead and latch it again All right, now we're gonna start on the tractor. We're gonna start with the left directional. It's amber in color. It's properly mounted and secure. I don't see any cracks. I don't see any damage. It's properly attached to the tractor. Now I'm gonna move along to my mirrors. I got my left side mirror. It's properly mounted and secure. Checking for the condition of the mirror. I got a flat and convex mirror. They're both properly mounted and secure I see no cracks and the mirror seems to be pretty clean mirrors are properly attached securely mounted to the door I'm gonna move right along to my door so my door it's in good condition it opens and closes properly the hinges the hinges on the door are properly lubricated the door doesn't have to see doesn't seem to have any damage and the seal around the door it is in good condition. No cracks, no damages on the seal. Now I'm gonna talk about my fire extinguisher. I got a, I got minimum 
or one minimum. So you always gotta have at least one fire extinguisher inside of each tractor. I have one minimum, five BC, non-dry, dry chemical, non-freeze, I'm sorry, non-freeze, dry chemical, fire extinguisher is properly mounted and secured. I can tell that it's fully charged because the needle is on the green. There's a, there's a needle there, so I can tell that it's fully charged because that needle is on the green. And the cutter pin is present. Okay? There's a cutter pin right there. Make sure that it's, it's present. I can also talk about now that I have three bi-directional reflective triangles on that side. They're properly mounted and secure. Now I can close the door and I can talk about my handles. I got all my handles and all my steps. Gotta to touch every single one of them. They're properly mounted and secure. There's, there's another one back here. You gotta make sure you touch all of them. All my handles and my steps are properly mounted and secure. Moving along to my fuel tank. My fuel tank is properly mounted and secure. I see no leaks. The fuel tank is in good condition, it's not, not damaged. My fuel cap, I gotta make sure that my fuel cap is tight, it's securely on, on the fuel tank. One thing that we also talk about is that the fuel cap is threaded, leaded, and sealed. So let it, because it's got these leads on here, it's sealed, this rubber seal on it. And it's threaded because when, in case of a fire, this thing will melt and allow the, the gas to come out, prevent the fuel, the fuel tank to explode, okay? And it seems like I'm pretty low on the fuel on this tractor. Okay? Battery box. It's been... Oh, no. Uh, no. Okay. You don't have to say that. All right. Remember, if you say more, that's fine. If you want to talk about it, it's air vented, that's fine. Okay. okay. The battery box is properly mounted and secure. Uh, my deck plate, all of my deck plate is properly mounted and secure. All the deck plate has all the nuts and, uh, and bolts in place. I don't see any damage with the deck plate. The deck plate is in good condition. I'm going to move to the back of the tractor. So I got the reflector devices. I got the reflector tape behind the tractor. The reflector tape is properly attached. My rear window is, has no cracks or damages. Now I'm going to move along to my airlines. So going from the tractor to the trailer. So from the tractor, I see that my airlines are properly connected, are properly secured. I don't see or I, don't, I mean, I don't hear any leaks. The airlines, all of my airlines have no abrasion budgets or cuts. I hear no leaks. The, the airlines or air hoses, they look or seem to be in good condition. Now my, uh, my light core plug, my light core plug coming out from the tractor it's properly and securely, it's securely mounted. Uh, it looks like the, my light cord has no uh, cord exposure. The light cord, actually, is, I'm, I'm actually putting on the wrong thing, but it's right here. So the, the light cord plug, it is it is securely mounted. I don't see any, any damage. I see that the light cord plug is properly pushed in. My light cord itself, has no cord exposure. The light cord it seems to uh, the light cord looks in pretty good condition. Now I am going to go to the trailer. So the trailer, the light cord is properly attached to my trailer. The casing it's in good condition. It's, it's got all the nuts in place. I don't see any cracks or any damage on the casing where the light cord plug is is hooked up. My airlines are, uh, we're talking about the airlines are in good condition. No abrasion budgets are cut. Now, both of my glad hands, the service line, which is the blue one, and the emergency line, which is the red one, both of my glad hands are properly attached to the trailer. 
I hear no leaks. I will check the grommets inside the glad hand to make sure that they're in good condition. Because they got grommets inside. I'm not going to go ahead and disconnect it, but I will have to check to make sure that if there's any leaks, it could be that the grommets are in bad condition. And all the lines over here to the trailer, the, the airlines are not cracked, no damage, and I hear no leaks. I got my exhaust. My exhaust pipe is properly mounted and secure i don't see any bent i don't see any damage i see no leaks i hear no leaks it has no holes i don't see any uh uh physical damage to the to the pipe it is in good condition and it's securely mounted okay now i'm going to move along to the This is my um, um, dry, uh, my drive train. My drive train is properly mounted and secure. It's uh, it's lub it's properly lubricated. I can see it back here. I don't see any damage. I don't see any bents or nothing. It is in good condition. Okay. Now I'm gonna go to the part of the coupling. All right, so I got my apron of the trailer. Well, I will talk about the, uh, let's go to finish with the tractor first and then we'll go to the trailer. All right, so my the apron of the trailer, I can see that there's no space between the apron of the trailer and the fifth wheel. I don't see any space in between. The apron of the trailer is in good condition. Now the fifth wheel, this is my fifth wheel. My fifth wheel is properly lubricated. Okay, the feed wheel is not bent, it's not damaged. The feed wheel, it is in good condition. Now my feed wheel is properly attached to the platform. That's the platform right here. The platform is in good condition. It's not bent, it's not damaged. Now my platform, it is properly attached to the frame. This is the frame of the tractor. So that platform, is attached to the frame and I can see that all the nuts it's got nuts it's got three nuts on the uh, bolts on each side actually four those four uh, nuts are in place on both sides there's nothing missing so the platform is properly attached to the frame of the tractor with all the nuts and bolts in place I don't see any damage with the frame itself the frame is in good condition I don't see any illegal welds on the frame. <coughs> this is all the frame. No illegal welds, no damage on the frame. Now I'm gonna move along to my spring hangers. So I got my spring hangers here. This is where the springs hangs into onto. So I got my hangers. I got I got two. I got the left side and I got the right side. So both of my spring hangers. They're in good condition. They're properly mounted and secure. I don't see any damage. They have all the bolts and nuts and plates. It's properly attached. Now my spring hang, my springs. I got my springs right here. Those are my springs. I see that they have no. There's no. They're not uh, broken. They're not missing any leaves. Uh, they're not loosened. No crack. They're worn. They're not. They're in good condition. My springs. Now this also they have uh, uh, U-bolts and bolts. So everything that has the spring, spring is bolts and bolts. I don't know if you guys can see it, but they're right here. On this side, you see that U-bolts? So it's spring, spring is bolts and bolts, bolts and U-bolts. So they're all gonna have U-bolts and bolts right here. Okay? So my U-bolts are, are securely mounted. With my uh, with my bolts in place, I can see the bolts over here. They're secure. Okay. See the bolts right here at the bottom. So the U bolts will have bolts that attach the springs. Okay. They're properly in place, securely mounted. All right. Now I'm going to talk about my brake chamber. 
My brake chamber is properly mounted and secure. It's got all the clamps, very important, the clamps. The clamps are in place. I see no leaks. And the air lines that are hooked up to my brake chamber have no abrasion budges or cuts. The air lines are in good condition. I hear no leaks. Now the brake chambers also have the uh, uh, slack adjusters and the push rod. Slack adjuster and push rod over here. Okay, the brake chambers. Uh, the push rod, when I release the brakes, I don't want to have more than an inch excess play on those uh, on the push rod. So both of the brake chambers, they're in good condition. We're going to check that. And the airlines have no abrasive budgets or cuts, and I hear no leaks. All the clamps are in place on the brake chamber. All right. Since I'm already here, I'm going to check for my kingpin. So my kingpin, it's in good condition. It's not bent. It's not damaged. And I can see that the jaws, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this right here is called the jaw. So that right there is locked around the kingpin. See that? Yeah, that's, uh, that's the jaw that's locked around the camp pin. All right. Now uh, I can talk about the brake lining since I'm already.